Okay, so um, in this lecture, we're going to discuss what it means to say a sequence is Cauchy. Um, by definition, um, the sequence is said to be Cauchy if um, the sequence of ordinary distances between the n term of the sequence and the m term of the sequence converges to zero. Now we have the following statement. Um, every convergent sequence is Cauchy. Uh, to see this, we assume that um, xn is a convergent sequence in x, which converges to say um, x in x. Then we have to show that um, in the large n limit and m limit, um, the ordinary distance between the n term and then the m term is going to be zero. Now, by the triangle inequality, the ordinary distance between the n term and then um, the m term is going to be less than or equal to the ordinary distance between the n term and x plus the ordinary distance between x and the m term. But because the sequence converges to x and x, that means the, in the large n limit, um, the ordinary distance between the n term and x is going to be zero. And then in the large m limit, the ordinary distance between x and m, the ordinary distance between x and the n term of the sequence is going to be zero. So um, basically, the ordinary distance between the n term of x and the m term of x is going to be um, less than or equal to zero. But remember, um, the ordinary distance cannot be non-negative. So that means inequality cannot be strict, which basically means uh, the ordinary distance between the n term of the sequence and then the m term of the sequence has to be zero in a large n limit and then the large m limit. Okay, so now um, we're going to give an example of a sequence that is um, uh, Cauchy. So assume that the n term of the sequence is defined by 2n plus 1 over n. Um, we want to show that this sequence here is um, a Cauchy sequence. So first of all, we're going to show that basically uh, this sequence here um, converges to 2. Uh, to see that, we consider um, the ordinary distance between the n term of the sequence and 2. By definition, the, the ordinary distance between the n term of the sequence and 2 is simply going to be the absolute value of 2n plus 1 over n minus 2. And then we see that when we simplify the term in the absolute value, we get 1 over n. So in the large n limit, the ordinary distance between um, the n term of the sequence and 2 is going to be 0. So that means basically um, the sequence converged to 2. Now, we can use the previous statement to show that um, a sequence is Cauchy. Remember that every convergent sequence is Cauchy. So basically, uh, we have to show that um, in the large n limit, in the large n limit, the ordinary distance between the n term of the sequence and then the m term of the sequence um, is going to be zero. But by the triangle inequality, the ordinary distance between the n term of the sequence and then the m term of the sequence is going to be less than or equal to the ordinary distance between the n term of the sequence and two plus the ordinary distance between two and the m term of the sequence. But because the sequence converged to 2, that means in the large n limit, the ordinary distance between the n term of the sequence and 2 is going to be 0. And then in the large m limit, the ordinary distance between 2 and the m term of the sequence is going to be 0. So uh, the ordinary distance between the n term of the sequence and the m term of the sequence is going to be less than or equal to 0. But remember, the ordinary distance is non negative. So that means the inequality cannot be strict, which means basically um, the ordinary distance between the n term of the sequence and then the m term of the, of the sequence has to be zero in the large n limit and m limit respectively. So that means um, basically um, the sequence is um, Cauchy.